What's up guys, I'm JD from Affinity Collective Tech, and if you ever built a computer before, chances are you've ran into some issues along the way. Over the past three years, I've had to troubleshoot probably over 100 computers to find out what the problem is. And with that, I've picked up a handy little trick. Today we'll be showing you guys how to test your power supply with only a paperclip. First item on our list is safety. Please note that we are playing with electricity here. You can short out components or shock yourself, which can result in injury or in extreme cases, death. So be extremely careful if you do this and know it may void your warranty. Be sure to power off your power supply with a switch on the back and unplug all wires connecting it to your computer, along with the AC cord plugged into the wall. We don't want any power running through the device as we are shoving metal paper clips into the 24 pin connector. Once you have completed this, take your paper clip and either cut it in half so you have an arch, or bend it in such a way that you have the same outcome. You need the two ends to be able to sit inside the pins of the connector. Next, locate the green wire and the black wire on your power supply. If you can't see the color, count over from the right to the left and find the fourth and fifth pins in the upper row. Then insert your paper clip into these two pins. Once you've done this, make sure that you're not touching the paper clip and the paper clip is not in contact with any other metal or component. Now plug in your power supply to the wall and turn the switch on the back on. If the power supply fan begins to spin, you most likely have a working power supply. Now if you have something like a passive or fanless power supply, don't worry. Just hook up a simple device such as a fan with a Molex connector. If that fan starts spinning, it is a good indicator. The paperclip test is one of the easiest ways to diagnose if the problem with your PC not turning on is the power supply or not. Let us know in the comments below if this test helped with your problem, or if you need help further diagnosing one. While you're down there, consider dropping a like and subscribing to help support the channel. As always, see you guys next time.